How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel so OnePlus has recently released the Oxygen OS 15 open beta and since I have the OnePlus 12 with me, I got a chance to try out all the new exciting features that OnePlus has added with their latest Oxygen OS 15. Honestly, I really liked what OnePlus did with this major update. Not only they have added some amazing new features, but they also worked on the animations, making it one of the smoothest experiences on any smartphone. With that being said, let's check out all the exciting new Oxygen OS 15 features along with those buttery smooth animations. So stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first, let's talk about the lock screen customization. Even though OnePlus made a lot of changes to the lock screen, one thing that I didn't like here is that we do not get any shortcut to go directly to the customization page. As you can see, even if I press and hold on the lock screen, I do not get any option related to the customization. So in order to customize, you need to unlock your phone, go into settings and then select wallpaper and style. Here you get this brand new interface with bunch of beautiful looking themes for your lock screen. We have got classic, sleek, pulse, light and shadow, composition and many more to choose from. Depending on your mood, you can choose whatever you like and then you have the option to change the clock style, customize the color, adjust the size, you can add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen and there is also an option to enable or disable the depth effect as well. The only drawback is now we do not have the option to add our own font, instead you can choose any of these presets which are already present here. Other than that, I think they did a great job adding all these customizations and now the OnePlus lock screen looks much better compared to the previous version. The best part is that if you're using the always on display on your phone, then you get this beautiful animation that looks absolutely stunning. Every time when you unlock your phone, you're gonna appreciate this little transition that just looks really really cool. We'll discuss more regarding the animations in the later part, but before that let me show you the redesigned quick settings panel. As you can see when I open the quick settings, it now looks quite different. We have got a more rounded design along with these two pills which lets you control the brightness and volume level. Other than that, if you tap on the three dot menu, go into customize quick settings, here we get the option to choose between the classic and the split view. Split view is nothing but it separates all your notifications from the quick settings panel. So when you swipe from the right side, it opens the control center and by swiping from the left, it shows all your notifications. So these are all the changes related to the quick settings panel. One feature that is missing here is you cannot change the shape of these toggles, but I think they might bring this in the upcoming beta releases. The next thing you'll notice is this black and white accent, which is present all across the interface, including the quick settings panel. And even when you open the settings page, we have this black and white accent that resembles the old Oxygen OS design language. In order to get this look, all you have to do is go into wallpaper and style, select colors, and here you need to click on this option called two tone. This will give you that old Oxygen OS vibe and it actually looks really, really good. Next, they have added a couple of new icon packs with the Oxygen OS 15. If you go into wallpaper and style, select icons, here you can see two new options. The first one is called Radiance and this pack looks very similar to the default icons but it just add that slight gradient look and make your icons pop on your home screen. Then we have got something called as Shadow which is actually the darker version and basically it adds a dark background to all your app icons. These are a couple of new icon styles that OnePlus has added with this latest update. With the release of Oxygen OS 15, they have also added this new feature called Live Alerts which is heavily inspired by the dynamic island that we have on iPhones. All you have to do is go to accessibility and convenience, select live alerts and here you will see the list of applications that are supported. Now let's say you set a timer on your phone, when you minimize the clock application, it goes straight to the punch hole and converts that into the dynamic island. It also works when you are playing music on Spotify or you can track your order from Swiggy or Zomato as well. The best part is unlike dynamic island, here you can view applications in an expanded view and you can easily control both apps at the same time. I really like how they have implemented this live alert feature and it works really well with some nice animations. OnePlus has also improved the multitasking experience and now when you open apps in a split screen window, let's say you're watching a video on YouTube, you can expand it much further, nearly to 85% of the screen 
This way you can easily decide which app can occupy the larger area on the screen. Previously this was not possible on OnePlus devices but now with the Oxygen S15 you can really make better use of the split screen feature and take your multitasking to the next level. Now let's talk about animations. OnePlus has further improved the animations which were already good on Oxygen S14 but now they just feel extremely fluid and smooth. As you can see when opening and closing applications, the animation flows smoothly without any stutter or delay. Even if you open apps simultaneously one by one, you can see the animations are really smooth and responsive. Not only the animations are good when you are opening and closing applications, but you will feel that extra smoothness throughout the interface. When you unlock your phone, lock screen animations, live alerts, widgets opening and closing animations, opening apps in multi-window or while scrolling anything on the screen, everything just feels buttery smooth on this phone. Guys, I am planning to make a separate video on the animations and I'll try to compare these animations with every other UI including the iOS. You will see how smooth the Oxygen OS actually is. So stay tuned for that video. Apart from this, they have also made some changes to the About section. If you go into Settings and then to About Phone, here you can see the About section looks cleaner compared to the previous version. We have got the device model at the top followed by all other specifications mentioned in a much better way. So that's pretty much it. These are all the exciting new features OnePlus has added with the Oxygen OS 15 Open Beta 1. And soon we will be getting some AI features on this phone so stay tuned for that as well. Now let me know in the comments section which is your favorite feature from the Oxygen OS 15. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.